If you want to check only the shadow of an object without the object itself being visible, you can easily do that. Go to the Object Properties panel, then under Visibility, Ray Visibility, uncheck the Camera option. This will hide the object from the camera's view but keep its shadow visible, even when you render the scene. This is the opposite of the previous tip. If you want an object to be visible but not cast any shadows, go to the same Visibility, Ray Visibility section in Object Properties. This time, uncheck the Shadow option. The object will render normally, but it will no longer produce any shadows in your scene. In the Shader Editor, you can quickly reuse colors by simply dragging them from one socket and dropping them into another. This allows you to easily copy a color from one material or node to another without manually re-entering the values. Blender offers a very useful feature called Save Incremental. When you use it, Blender will save your current file as a new file, automatically adding an incremental number to the end of the file name. This is great for keeping multiple versions of your project without overwriting the previous ones. When rendering animations, some data in Blender needs to be reloaded for every frame, which can slow things down. By enabling persistent data, Blender will load that data only once and reuse it for each frame. This can significantly speed up your render times. To enable it, go to Render, Performance, Final Render, and check Persistent Data.